All right, we're here with Ryan Kelly, who plays Rianne O'Killig. Um, tell me a little bit about Rianne. How did you come up with his name? All right, so if anybody is familiar with the uh, Irish Gaelic language, they would realize that Rianne O'Killig is Ryan Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> so original. And very original so this is the first time i've ever played D, &D so i didn't exactly uh plan ahead with 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 names and character development so yeah rian is a is a goliath that was abandoned at birth and adopted by dwarves mountain dwarves specifically um <clears throat> shireland Yes, from Shireland. Which is an island off of <laughs> Shalaya, which is where we're, where we're currently playing. Little area known as Pendleland. Uh, Pendleland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot the geography of all that. <laughs> but Shireland is definitely where, uh, where Rian, uh originally resided before he began his journey. Yes, he's... Um, he he was the town hero. He was he was the town hero. He was uh, regarded as very uh, very capable of of protecting the the, the community. Um, he's very uh, I, I I don't know if I'd call it patriotic, but he's he, he's very fond of his people and want to you know want to take care of them, protect them. But he also has some some personal things going on that he's trying to you know uh, uh discover and, and and learn about himself um uh one being you know where he came from originally like his his uh um, goliath roots goliath origins um one thing about goliath they do not have any kind of hair and Rianne has facial hair but not just any kind of facial hair. It would be facial hair fashioned from horse hair to resemble a very beautiful mustache and beard. Um, it's funny as he's caught, he's, he's caught, yeah, he's caught a few, he's caught a few <laughs> like arrows and things in it a couple of times. Oh uh, yeah. And he's caught some crap about it too. <laughs> a lot. Oh man. And so, uh, a, a partner has helped mend it back to his face <laughs> partner yes that's a good word so what he calls him uh yes. he talks a lot about a friend back home named bart yes and they together owned or started like um was it a pub it was so while uh and i'm pulling up my backstory so that i get it correct um, I've been thinking about it since we've been since we started playing. I've, you know, evolved as a as a player, but off, uh, obviously the character has you know developed a little bit more. But um, to to get this correct, let me find exactly. Ha! So yes, <clears throat> Bart, short for Bartholomew, was. Uh, his friend growing up he um Rian being he uh owned a business called the shirish l house and um which was a brewery and distillery uh he sold it to bart before he left um he's actually crippled from an incident that Rian may or may not have caused but regardless he's been a real friend and an ally and uh in helping Rian adjust in life, being the only Goliath amongst uh, a horde of dwarves. And this is all stuff that you have revealed to us through game that not everybody got to see. But they did create a, spe a, a specific L. What was it? The it was was it called the Goliath L or something like that? It is called the Goliath's plight. Plight. That's right. Yes. Uh, specifically named, and this isn't written down, but I can say it right now, specifically named after. Uh, Rian's, um, you know, not really misfortunes, but uh, you know, his his life growing up, being uh, kind of an outcast, uh, just being different amongst uh, the rest of his society. 
um, give a little bit of insight on that. It is, it is a drink that uh, no dwarf has been able to drink without being completely wasted. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so, guessing Bart is a dwarf, being that he. Oh yeah, of course he's the only. Of, he, you know, he's them. the only Goliath amongst uh, an entire civilization of dwarves. So one of the things I love about Rian is he's, he's a buffoon, like he's a complete idiot. <laughs> but it's it's really, t- it's you play it so well. Um, but it's because oh, he boy. is really naive. Like he didn't know anything outside of his world before he came to the main part of, of Shalea. That's and, correct. Um, met up with, at, at, well, first he met up with Ashan and then, and Menza. Menza was the little green haired gnome that, that they saw. Broccoli. Yeah, he called a broccoli. That's what Rian ref- referred to Menza as. Didn't you drop her down a um, down a, a large hole, a canyon? Uh, Rian, if I remember correctly, Rian dropped himself down and then reached back up to the cliff or the edge, the ledge above him, picked her up, and then sat her down beside him. Was. I knew they did something crazy at, at the thing, and, and, and y'all, y'all you know, all we jumped to get into out. a tree, and that didn't feel too good either. Yeah. <laughs> Seemed like you caused someone's injury there. Like you, you knocked her out of the tree or something. I can't I remember can't, if it was her or if it was a shot. It might have been a shot. I can't remember exactly. Oh, yeah. That's been that's been a while. Um, as athletic and as strong as Rian is, he's he's a little clumsy. I was like, he's got a little bit clumsy. <laughs> that's all right. Um, and I, you know, he doesn't. He, first, I, I don't know if this has grown. I think it probably has grown. But at first, he didn't really trust any other group. He, you know, the group that is together now, he, he's still questions a couple of things. Um, for the most part, he trusts them. He relies on them. You know, he, he knows that, you know, some of them at least have his back even through uh, thick and thin. But uh, right now he's still questioning one person's motives because he has made some kind of outlandish connection. <laughs> For uh, Ashan. Or with dragons, yes, Ashan. <laughs> Poor Ashan. Oh yeah, yeah. He it, likes to give Ashan a hard time. So, so Zephyr, Zephyr. yeah. Well, you know, Zephyr, and, <laughs> Zephyr, and Ashan consider themselves to be the smart ones of the group. Um, and so Zephyr and Slate were had been traveling together for about two years when they joined. Y'all, the the three of y'all joined one day, and the next day met with Z- uh, Zephyr and Slate. Right. And over the course of a week, Slate, who hated before, hated Goliaths, and really didn't care much for dwarves, started uh, having some kind of uh, an odd connection with with Rian, which I'm I don't think Rian never really understood it. I don't think. Well, going back to the uh, being naive and and just kind of, you know, not really, not really there with everything. <laughs> um, Rian has never experienced love uh, in any fashion. Well, other than like, you know, growing up amongst a family, but as far as any kind of other relation, <laughs> he's never really experienced anything. So, so. Um, you know, Slate, uh, I guess, performed a good deed. Uh, Gol- um, Goliaths typically have tattoos all over their bodies, and Rian did not. And he's, you know, at some point in his life had seen Goliaths, saw their ha- they had tattoos, and was, you know, curious and intrigued by it and decided that he, you know, wanted them to. And one day, Slate... Um, after not really caring for Rian very much, uh, you know, started taking a liking to him and got him a gift of an Inker's bracelet, which tattooed literally half literally. of Rian's body. <laughs> <laughs> the right side like. specifically. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. As much as he asked. Well, you know, Rian, as confident as he is as a warrior, is still a little... Uh, doesn't really know what to think about 
exposing himself in other ways. Well, I mean, there's also been times when he didn't seem to care. Just takes his pants off. Well, that's, um, that's true. He did, but, you know, things happen sometimes. He, <laughs> so, yeah, and well, since then, you know, there's it's been interesting because you have this whole issue with, with Slate and uh, Rianne, and Rianne doesn't really pick up on the feelings that Slate seems to have. Oh, and yeah, yet, we really didn't go into that. We, it, I, I didn't finish that. They Rianne, accidentally ended up engaged. Well, yeah, Rianne decided that he was going to repay Slate and uh, get him a gift and um, had a ring suggested by a woodworker had a ring made uh, for Slate and in a nervous fit, Rianne decided to become inebriated and didn't know really how to respond to much of anything going on, falls on the floor. And uh, in, in, in the, just the perfect moment of trying to get up, decides to give Slate uh, the gift. Uh, which Slate took that as a proposal because Rian was down on his knees and One night, holding the knee. holding the ring up and asking if he would, you know, take the gift. And he accepted. <laughs> it, it, it caused quite a scene. It did well, not until they they traveled a little bit and and, and you know Zephyr's always um a little overprotective. A little overprotective. He's kind of bossy, and so he. But he uh, he 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 made sure to tell Rianne not to, uh, to to let him speak to to Slate first because they're they, they consider each other like brothers or whatnot. But Rianne didn't <laughs> wait. No, Rianne couldn't help himself. He um, he you know in the moment in the heat of the moment during, right after a battle, um, Rianne let the let the truth slip out that it was not. Well, that wasn't no slip. That was just ripping that Band-Aid off. <laughs> that is correct. Rianne flat out told Slate, I am not interested you, in you in that fashion. As a matter of fact, I am not interested in you at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, he uh, probably made a pretty bold but stupid move <laughs> at that moment. That's, that's and, pretty on uh, par. Caused a, yeah, <laughs> caused a little bit of tension within the group. Um, which, uh, yeah, that, that, that turned out to be a good couple of sessions. Well, so, so he, at that he, point, he keeps us, we never know what to expect really from, from oh Rianne. yeah. Oh yeah. Rianne being the, uh, kind of clumsy, foolish, but brutish individual that he is likes to uh likes to go into situations headstrong and not really thinking through what could possibly happen um yeah. that's pretty that, much every single time <laughs> that's accurate that is accurate gotten them in more trouble than anyone i think oh yeah but oh, yeah. that's you know that's why we that's why we love Rian. oh boy and it well, only gets better <laughs> we well we'll see Hopefully. all right well, I could get a lot worse. I appreciate you. Thank you for taking this time with me, Ryan. Yes, sir.